hey foodies, you are gonna love these cookies, or biscuits as the recipe called for. They're black currant biscuits, and they're just wonderful. You roll them out, they're great for dipping in tea, and I think you're just gonna enjoy them. They're great for just sticking in the cookie jar so that when the kids are hangry, you can give them something, they're low in sugar. I just like them. So before we start, you're gonna wanna look at the recipe right here. It's quite a simple recipe, there aren't a lot of ingredients, and it's what makes it so easy and fun. So we're gonna start by pouring our sugar in and our softened butter. Oh, there's a little bit there. And I'm gonna put, and we're gonna cream this up. So the butter's been creamed with the sugar. I'm gonna add my milk and my egg yolk. Come on. It didn't want to go. So I'll just pop it along. There we go. And I'm gonna cream that, mix that up together. Okay, and then we are gonna add our flour and our cinnamon. So we want to scrape down the sides and then we want to add our black currants. Okay, so it's all been mixed. And look at that, it's looking like cookie dough. It's it's really quite fun. You'll notice we didn't add any baking soda or baking powder. That's because we don't want this to rise at all. So they're just gonna stay nice and flat and be delicate little cookies. So I'm gonna put that out on the counter. And now I've got my bowl of flour here for dusting. There we go. Oh, and this is such a soft, smooth feeling pastry. It, it feels really, really nice. Don't be afraid of adding lots of flour because you don't want these cookies to stick at all. Okay, and we're gonna roll this out to about five millimeters or a quarter of an inch thick. Look at the currents in that. Okay. So now I'm just gonna cut out cookies with one of my favorite cookie shapes. I wonder what your favorite cookie shape is. You could do, just do squares or rounds, but I kind of like the flower cut out. Really simple. And once you've got them cut out, you lift them and you just place them on the cookie sheet. They can be quite close together because they're not going to spread that much. There's not that much sugar in them, and there's there's not that much of anything. Okay, so I've done the first round of cutting them out. I'm gonna cut out the rest and put them on the pan. Now that I've got all the cookies rolled out and pressed into cookie shapes, I'm gonna take my egg white and just lightly mix it up. And then I'm gonna brush each cookie lightly with the egg white wash or mixture. Okay, and then I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit of coarse sugar on the top. Okay. 
And I'm gonna bake these in the oven for 15 to 18 minutes or until golden brown. Look at these cookies, they were so easy to make. I can't get over the simplicity of them. No baking soda, no baking powder, no yeast, nothing like that in the cookie. Just a little bit of sugar, some butter, flour, and pure goodness. I can't wait to bite into these. Let's just have a little piece. Mmm. They're really simple, but really effective. They're not too sweet, even though they're, they've got sugar all over the top. I think they'd be great to have as a tea or serve with some cheese when guests are over. I look forward to eating more of these. Mmm. Thank you for watching. I look forward to seeing all of your comments about what your favorite cookie is. Maybe give these a try and let me know what you think. Take care.